Welcome back to another video. This is the last video of the Ultimate Tsunami Boat series. But today, we're actually going to be testing this boat against Tsunami. So this is it, guys. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. So let's go ahead and hop in this thing and start testing. All right, we're going to start the engines here. Let's turn on some lights. We need some lights. So I have added some stuff. All right, so once we turn on displays here, we have all this stuff. So you guys already know about this. You have the emergency flares. And then we have a right and left fuel tank so we can see how much fuel we actually have left now. Now we actually have an underwater camera that we can look at. We did add in the last video, but pretty cool stuff. And then we actually added a generator mode. So engine generator, it'll act activate generators in our engines. It will make us go a bit slower, but as you can see, our electric is at full. And then when we turn it off, it will go back down ever so slightly. But yeah, that's basically what we got going on here. We're just gonna be giving a bit of a tour before we do all this so you guys know where everything's at. So here's our desktop computer with two camera modes, always look nice and we got a painting here with a nice kitchen with a coffee pot repair equipment and underwater repair equipment this orange thing right here actually communicates with the emergency escape pod so this actually opens the top hatch from inside the escape pod because that's how logic works in this game but yeah let's go ahead down here check out the crew room so this is where we all sleep at so captain's right here and we got two crew members you can choose whoever sleeps there navigator or engineer who cares we got a bilge pump here and there and then actually in here we actually have a bathroom so it's looking quite nice and the bathroom actually works and then we have some nice looking under the stairs lights and then right here we actually have a maintenance access hatch which we can repair our bilge pumps and all that fun stuff through there so then let's go ahead and check out the escape pod so in here we have these bilge pumps these are bilge pumps right here that's the light switch we have ropes right here this connects our fuel lines so do not ever disconnect that so back here we have our bilge pumps these are auto repair things so if we grab our gun here and turn on this so this will use a lot of our battery but emergency repair let's throttle all the way down emergency repair as you can see uses a ton of our battery but when that is on this will auto repair itself if you notice our hatch is broken like this the auto repairs were actually automatically repair this for us so you don't have to go outside the boat and repair it'll just turn on automatically then we have some refueling stuff which will also tell us how much fuel we have then we have an electrical connector to get electricity just in case we actually run out but really shouldn't ever happen so we can connect it with that connect it to like a lamp post and we'll get electric but then we have all these rope anchors across the boat to connect to we have a foghorn with six emergency flares right here this is how you access the logic room just in case you need a repair but in here we actually have some welders in here so the welders will repair the logic if that's broken but if the welders are broken it won't work as you can see we're only at 35 percent battery so what we're going to do go full throttle and activate engine generators and it should bring us all the way back up here moment Entirely. so that's a pretty cool feature we got going on there but we have radar sonar and lidar so we can actually click large right here and it will scan the bottom of the ocean and it'll basically show us what's down there so yeah that's basically the boat and then we have an emergency battery which we can activate and our power just got a little brighter so as you can see when we turn emergency power on the lights will get brighter so we got the escape pod right here let's go ahead in here we have first aid equipment and all this fun stuff so let's go ahead this button right here opens the top hatch for us to emergency escape and let's go ahead and click this launch here so when we click launch a transponder is active and it will start blinking really bright red lights so let's go launch it here here we go we have escaped in the escape pod it launches a flare the second the parachute opens and there's a blinking light so it's easier to spot but there is a flare let's turn it to nighttime so we can actually see the flare better and there we go now we're in the water we should float back up though this thing does indeed float so there's the flare over there pretty close to where we're at. as you can tell our lights are very bright and they're blinking you can see this from probably miles away uh, yeah that's basically the boat so let's go ahead and get this party started spawn on a tsunami real quick and turn waves to like some hurricane type weather are you guys ready this is going to be crazy okay so we we have a tsunami spawned in on this menu here we go while we're waiting for the tsunami let's turn it on max waves and rain so this is hurricane weather right here but we're doing perfectly fine this is not an issue for this thing this thing can withstand basically anything besides meteors and tornadoes and stuff it's not as meteor and tornado proof boat it's basically just terrible weather proof boat so here we go we're in all this bad weather here we can see the bottom of the ocean if we click two it enables a spotlight so we can see the bottom of the ocean better but sometimes when we pop out of the water that will happen but then if we click three we have reverse but we're not going to do that right now so if you want to stop getting airtime like this just throttle down that means we're going too fast for these types of waves so here we go let's turn on our sonar systems right here radar and sonar that's what those two buttons are and we're not detecting anything right now so that's definitely good but we can actually zoom out on here so we got four kilometers of range got this super large tsunami going towards us let's see what happens here. and then right here we actually have emergency battery level with our normal battery level and then we have all these bilge pumps and stuff here 
with some buzzers if water ever starts flooding in this room um buzzers will start going off and alert us that there's water just in case we don't see it here we go we're about to hit this super large tsunami we're in hurricane weather right now so that's how you know it's serious this boat is just already doing way better than most boats actually most larger boats do capsize when it's on max wind and when they're sideways so we can drive sideways on max wind with no problem we can actually turn any direction because our propellers and everything are just doing really good here this thing cannot capsize i'm just gonna let you guys know this thing will not flip on its roof and stay there it will flip back over i can guarantee you that if you don't have any water on board it will flip back over but if you do have water on board that might be the issue ginormous tsunami going towards us this will be a really interesting test because this is a huge tsunami probably be a little bit larger than the normal one we're gonna full throttle right here full throttle all right we got the clutch and we're climbing a tsunami right now no problem uh we might do a backflip here because we just throttled it down too much but here we go we're flipping we are flipping as you can see and we're flying in the air oh here we go all right throttle down throttle down we don't want to be going too fast here but as you can see we completely ate that up that was nothing that was just light work right there we can stand up in here and do all that fun stuff but this thing actually has no stabilizers this is all just a really good design in the boat so this thing is just a beast so yeah that was a tsunami test for you let's go ahead and spawn in a tornado we're not gonna win against it but let's turn on all this weather off and i'll show you guys kind of how the water alarms work so we will get alarms when there's water leaking in the boat so let's stop moving here let's look at the sky see if it starts spinning because that means there's a tornado there it is it's going directly on us okay get inside we're on lockdown right now let's see what happens here oh gosh there it is oh it's bringing us and we try to outrun the tornado i don't think we're powerful enough to do that definitely not the tornadoes in this game are just way too powerful but here we go oh gosh here we go we're in the tornado this is a little crazy uh i'm surprised we're not taking any damage yet that is honestly pretty impressive oh we're in the middle of a tornado it's gonna start messing us up here you guys hear that we got a emergency alert going off let's turn down our volume here so it looks like we do have scratch marks under the boat right here with our blinking lights so that's definitely gonna help the search and rescue crews but here we go it broke our bottom camera so let's completely shut down the engines here let's see what our issue is okay so we have water in the crew room so that's where all of our crew members are sleeping and then engine room hall so that's down here in this maintenance hatch engine room hall is down here so supposedly that's where the water is at let's activate some bilge pumps right now and then you can mute this alarm by clicking that and the alarm is gone but when we have it on it's on and then once we once these go to zero it will stop beeping at us it's not letting us pump out this 0.24 water so we'll just cancel it right there and just mute it and then we have a fire suppression here with a view of the engine so when we activate fire suppression it'll start pumping water in the engines I don't know why it's not working right now, but that sometimes does work, sometimes doesn't. I'm just going to let you know. Then we have emergency flares here. So that'll launch two flares outside of our boat straight in the air. So let's turn it to nighttime here and we'll have a clear view of what's going on. So two flares straight in the air. That's as high as they can go super far in the air and you can see them dropping right back on us so pretty cool stuff we got going on there but yeah that's basically the boat this is going to be a shorter video and this boat is on workshop right now so link is in the description if you actually play this game you can use this boat and have fun with it test it and do whatever let me know some suggestions in the workshop comments if you have anything so let's go ahead and launch this for the one and last final time in really bad weather here so we're going to turn it to rain max fog max just say we're in a huge hurricane right now we can't see anything we just crashed into an island so first things first you want to close this door because that's the most important thing you don't want to get water in here open this hatch so when you open this hatch water will spill in and your boat will most likely sink so here we go it'll start pushing the escape pod up as you can tell but it should stay in but here we go we're going to launch it here three two one we're launching and we have launch here we go we're in the air as you can see, it launches a flare and our parachute's out. We're looking good. And rescue services would be here momentarily if you have any multiplayer crew. But yeah, that's basically a boat. That's probably going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what we should do for our next building series. I think right now we're going to do a research submarine. So yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.